Hi everyone, uh, thanks for joining me today. So, I was about to get started on my latest project that I'm working on for you guys, and it's this file right here that says 2D IX. Now, it's probably not named properly. I could have called it some better things, but that's not the point. So, here I am, I try to open the file, and I get this uh, box right here that says that the file is locked, and you know, do I want to open it as a read only copy? So that's how, what I wanted to show you how to fix today, how you unlock this file, right? So let's go unlock it right now. I'm not gonna open it as read-only. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go to the administration uh, module, which I don't think we've used the administration module yet. Maybe I showed it to you briefly in like one of my first videos. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this button right here, database management, and I'm gonna click on it. Now, what this does is it shows me all the files that are locked. Now, a file could be locked because someone else is like currently busy editing it, but I know for a fact that I am not editing this file right now. Um, you know, this is a different computer than I'm using, but I know I'm not over there editing right now because I finished working on this on Friday and I haven't been over to that computer. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the file and I'm gonna click this button release. It's just that easy. So that's what this is talking about, is have you verified the following user is, in, is no longer working on it? And yes, that's true, I'm not working on it anymore. Okay, that's it, That's it's unlocked, so let's go open it. Um, let's see here, method editor, open, okay. Okay, there we go, it's unlocked. Um, it's just that easy. Okay, so there is another kind of locked file, and that was a file that was previously signed. So let me show you how you sign and, you know, by definition then lock the file. And then let me show you what I can, what you can do to get around that. You're not really unlocking it, you're more just like, deleting the old one and saving a new file. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to this file here um, called timing that I've never done with anything with really ever. I don't really care about this file, which is why, why I will do this with it. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to file up here, right? And then I'm gonna to go to sign method. So I'm just gonna type in you know, my password, then a quick description, and then my signature. Okay. So now this file is locked. I can't ever change it again, as long as it has this name right here, timing. So you can see it says read only right here. So if I wanna go to, you know, 280 right here, I guess I'll, like what I'm doing here is I'm proving it to you that you can't really change it. So I'm gonna go to 300. I'll hit change, right? But if I hit change right there, nothing, nothing really happens. I still have the star, which means I need to save it. So I'm gonna go to save. And you know that normally is just save, not save as. And with save as, you have a chance to change the name. So I could just change the name right here, but if I try to keep it the same name, it's going to ask me if I wanna replace it, then it's gonna tell me I can't. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do instead is, right, we changed it to 300 right there. I'm gonna say timing 300, save. All right, now that I've done that, I'm just gonna close this really fast. Close. So now I have two files here, timing, which is locked, and training, sorry, yeah, sorry, timing, which is locked, and then timing uh, 300, which is not locked. I'm gonna just delete this file. And then I am going over here and then I will just change the name of this file. I'll just call it tiny. Okay, so you haven't gotten away with anything though. The, you know, systems log is recording everything you do and the systems log is here in administration i can't click on this to show it to you because there's lots of other stuff going on behind here um that you know the 
yeah. There's lots of stuff going on behind here that I can't show you. So you just have to trust me that it records when you delete a file, when you change the name of the file. Um, so everybody knows. Uh, I haven't gotten away with it. Uh, but that is a fix for if you have a locked file that you don't want locked. All right, I hope that helps. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. And um, if you have any suggestions, leave a comment below. Thank you.